Hey, it's Tim Estrell, a pickup truck plus SUV talk, and my passion is trucks and SUVs. That's your passion too. Hit subscribe, click the bell, and smash the like button. We're talking trucks or SUVs, I wouldn't call this thing. I have a body on frame Infiniti QX80. This is a 2020 model. I'm going to go ahead and do some B-roll on the outside because it's freezing my butt off outside in Nebraska today. And I'll talk about what's new in this edition 30, which is a special edition for them. They've been in business 30 years, kind of a special deal for them. And we'll go ahead and talk about the interior. Um, we'll go ahead and talk about the engine. I'll talk to you about your storage. And we'll go for a drive and tell you what it's like to get behind the wheel of this large SUV. We're going to get started on all of that right now. Okay, let's take a look at this exterior of the 2020 Infiniti QX80. Again, this is a Lux Edition 30 package, 22 inch forged dark aluminum alloy wheels that are riding on 22 inch tires. We have all season tires as well. We have a black mesh grille. We have dark chrome exterior trim, black mirror caps. There's Edition 30 badging on the back and also in the inside. We have a graphite headliner and the first row has got radiant illuminated Edition 30 kick plates. So yeah, so when you uh, open and close the doors, you get the Edition 30 right on the on that kick plate as you open up. And uh, other than that, uh, that now that package is $3,500. We have a this is a premium paint on this is $595. We have a Pro Assist package, which is a smart review mirror, intelligent cruise control, distance control assist, lane departure prevention, blind spot intervention. That uh, comes with the Edition 30 package as well. So we have an all-season package as well, all-season floor mats and cargo area protector for $355, and Infinity Radiant Exterior Welcome Lighting for $455, grand total with destination charge of $1,395 is $76,150. And here I'll do a little bit of uh, video here in the cabin. We have some of the cruise control and some of the volume buttons here, and we have the heated steering wheel there because it's really cold today, and I'll turn that on. And here's the cabin here, but I really want to get to, to two things here. Two, I have two fingers. Um, they have a new center stack here, new digital display. If you recall the prior generation, I'll try to put a photo on the screen. This was a, just an assortment of buttons. Like it was like a airplane's uh, front cabin for the pilot, man. It was just button, 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 button. And now we have a nice display. I'm not always a big fan of the uh, two uh, screens, but this works fine. And we have, a, it's pretty fast when you flip through the menu items. You kind of go around, you kind of see what's uh, different things. We can kind of click on, see how fast it opens up. And we have some nice uh, buttons here and a nice volume knob there. And this is much improved, much cleaned up, and it really looks really good. Uh, down below while I'm here, we have new USB. We have the uh, 2.0 or the, I think 3.0, whatever it is. The fast charging USB, the slower USB, the little cubby, and then we have the socket for the um, cigarette lighter kind of 12 volt hookup, that thing. That thing. And then we have the nice uh, stitched shifter. I really am a fan of that. Nice gloss black here with some chrome. And I have some controls here. I can control that menu as well. I can use buttons or I have a control here. That's nice there. I have a four wheel drive system. So I have a snow mode, a tow mode. I can have a push button, push, turn on four wheel drive. And I have a couple nice cup holders, which I have a little bag in here. I'll put it there. And I have a nice little storage thing. And then you can close it and it has a really nice finish. Okay, as far as headroom, I got plenty of headroom. This seat's like a 12-way adjustable seat. I mean, I got plenty of adjustments. It may be more than that. So, and it actually moves in and out like luxury vehicles do. So I have lots of, uh, lots of like there. Again, plenty of room for the kids. That rear seats are really big. I can fit back there easily. Anybody six foot can sit back there easily. And third row is gonna be a little bit tighter, but still good enough room for the kids. And I have plenty of storage back there too. Even third row seats up, you can still put a suitcase back there. So plenty of room in this 2020. 2020 Infiniti QX80. So let's keep moving along. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop the hood, talk to you about this engine, and then we'll do a uh, road test. Okay, this is the new 5.6 liter V8. It's not really new, just tuned differently. It has 400 horsepower and 413 foot pounds of torque. That is on premium fuel, which I think is fine for this kind of vehicle. Luxury vehicle has premium fuel. Um, this is used throughout the lineup and is premium fuel throughout to get that horsepower and torque. You can put regular grade in, you will just get less horsepower and torque. So it's not the big of a deal. Um, we'll go ahead and kind of walk around this. I'll, I'll move the camera over and kind of talk to you where the uh, places are to put oil in it, do the battery, air box, things like that. Okay, we have the air box here. We have some nice release clamps to get the air box out. Um, air filter out, excuse me, air filter is in the air box. We have some fluid back there. It looks like power steering. 
Come around over here, we have some coolant. This is interesting, this is automatic transmission fluid. I've never seen it done like this. It's got a cold measurement, hot measurement. Had to read this uh, label to figure out what the heck it was. Uh, down there is a dipstick. It's really in a tough spot. I don't know why it can't be longer. And there is, you gotta fill oil over here. So really kind of tough to do that for most people. I don't, you're not really doing your own service on this or really getting hard to get to that. So maybe an improvement there. Uh, we have over here, fuse box and we have the battery. So overall, it's interesting. I like this. It's kind of cool. I can see that. And uh, interesting spots for two coolants with the overflow there. I'm kind of confusing the cust customers and getting to the uh, dipstick is kind of a pain in the butt, but then the air box is good. So <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a uh, 50, 50 on this uh, engine here. Oh, and one more thing. There it is. This is a good placement. Winch wiper fluid right by the front fender, easy to access, easy to fill. That is a thumbs up. All right, last couple days has been kind of nice. I've been out playing golf. Well, not today. So let's go ahead and get my uh, golf clubs out of here while I freeze my butt off. Um, I just don't like big coats. So uh, you can see, I'll flip the camera around. I got plenty of room back here for all sorts of storage and I have a third row. And we'll put those third row seats up here in a second. Okay, let's get the stuff out of here. Make the room. Okay, as you can see, we have a nice hard plastic here. It's kind of a nice covering for my golf clubs. Nothing got damaged here as far as, I didn't get grass in there, I didn't get grass in the carpet. And then we should be able to press a button here. Oh yeah, there we go. And you can see it raising up. And we'll get the other one up here in a second too. So uh, plenty of, of space back there still. I'll put my golf clubs back in, we'll take a look at it. So we'll get that in there. And there you go, still lots of room. All right, on the road here with the 2020 Infiniti QX80. I'm talking slowly here in a minute because I'm trying to make sure I'm making the right turn. And people comment I talk too fast on this channel. So I'm making a right-hand turn here. Again, this is the 5.6 liter V8. Now this does have the seven speed transmission, which is a little bit interesting. The new Nissan Titans get the nine speed. Why this doesn't have the nine speed, no idea. Um, I will tell you that uh, it rides pretty nice. It floats pretty well on the, on the road. If I uh, say that you're not so much uh, tied into the driving experience, it's not numb. It's it's more like the old Cadillacs used to drive. I mean, it's got that more that luxury kind of driving experience where it's smooth. Um, off the line, well, it's pretty powerful, and you can hear the engine note. Sounds pretty good, and you definitely get the speed fairly quickly. Um, it's you know I'm not doing zero to sixty in this because it doesn't really make sense to me, but I can tell you that uh, it's a pretty pleasurable driving experience. It's better than the uh, old Yukon and Tahoe where the uh, was really weight balance issued and you'd float in the back of your seat and the whole front end would lift up. This, because of the way the size is and the way it's built, the massive size of it, um, how big it feels too, is that uh, it doesn't it doesn't do that. It doesn't rock back and forth off the line. Um, I do wish it had nine speed. You know, I feel like at higher speeds and even some of the lower speeds, it would be nice to add an additional shift point to allow more of a smoother driving experience. Well, I'm doing about 45 through here, um, which is the speed limit, and I will get over on the little bit faster and we'll take a look at how it does at different highway speeds. Now this is starts at $69,000. We have the Edition 30 package, which I talked to you about was the wheels and tires and, and um, or excuse me, tires and yeah, the wheels and different things on the outside. I'm trying to make sure I say that correctly. I read your comments way too much. Um, so it's got some additional features, puts it about $76,000. Fuel economy isn't great with this as you would ex expect. It's got the 5.6 liter naturally aspirated V8 and the big size of it, you're doing about 13 city, 19 highway and 15 combined. I believe those numbers are correct. Let me take a look for just one second. Ah, yep, numbers are on. And if you heard that beep, that's lane departure. Yeah, so it beeps at you when you're, you're leaving the lane. I do have adaptive cruise as well. Um, I have kind of all the bells and whistles. I have blind spot monitoring, which I just use in my house. Um, if you're backing up, it'll beep at you if there's a vehicle coming off either side behind you. Works out really well when uh, grocery shopping at the supermarket, at the mall. It's a really handy safety feature. Um, I will say inside the cabin, I don't want to talk very loud. It's a very quiet cabin. I do like the grab handles to get in and out. 
and it's got the out, outdoor um, runners to allow you to get into the seat that much better. A comfortable driving position, I'm a little bit probably more upright than I wanted to be. Um, I just haven't adjusted that too much. And the uh, steering wheel actually telescopes and lowers, raises and lowers. So it's definitely really adjustable for different drivers, different size, which is uh, really nice. Um, you know, in the past, I've, I've been a little critical on this because of the entertainment system in the middle and the way the door, the leather in the door really bugged me. It just really got to my, and just destroyed my appreciation for the vehicle. I think with those changes they've made and those improvements they've made, I just put it on cruise control by the way too, uh, those changes they've made have really made a difference in how I view the vehicle. I know I shouldn't let little stuff like that bug me, but I just do and I think at this point, at $76,000, it's a little stuff's going to drive you nuts. So I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of that. Um, I'm st I still, I, the looks are interesting. Some people really like it, some people really don't. It's kind of polarizing. And I think that the drive quality is pretty good. I don't have any concerns there. And it can tow a pretty good amount of weight in the back. I think it's like 8,000 pounds, 7,000, pounds, that range. I'll put it down below um, when I correct myself. And uh, I think overall, it's, it's a pretty comfortable, luxurious vehicle. I think they've done a good job of making this different than the Nissan Armada. You can definitely feel there's more luxury in this. I don't know on Nissan Armada Platinum Reserve how close the price point is. It's when you need to shop whether they go Infinity or Platinum Reserve. But I think with Infinity being a luxury brand, you get the better um, dealership experience, which is what you're well, kind of paying for. So overall, I, I, I'm not in love with it. Um, I think it's well improved, big improvements. But I'm just, I'm, it, it's, it's always been an okay vehicle for me. I, th I like the direction Nissan's going. I like what they're heading towards. I think they're making some really good improvements in the vehicle lineup they offer. I think you're gonna see that um, as new vehicles roll out. I know they're talking about quite a few. So if you're looking for this as a 2020 Infiniti QX80 and you're shopping around different vehicles, I think this could fit a lot of needs and it could be a great luxury vehicle for you. I uh, just got to see with the new Yukon coming out, the new Cadillac Escalade coming out, and see what those, we'll cross shop those, and kind of get an idea of what's um, what's better and what's worse. So here we go, I'm going to get about 55, and yeah, I mean, I, since we're back to see a little bit, I mean, it's a little bit more fun drive. You definitely feel like you have that horsepower and torque. You can definitely feel that. Remember that on premium fuel, that you can feel that horsepower and torque. And I think it's a, again, it's a powerful V8. I mean, it's what you're going to get on this. So for more Pickup Truck Plus SUV news, make sure you find us on PickupTruckTalk.com, as I'm in a corner here like a race car, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Pickup Truck Talk, type in those three little words, you'll find us over there, uh, and I'll make it the final corner. So it corners well, kind of like that's on rails. <laughs> but as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.